what's up you guys if you guys are new my name is Elysia Breanne and welcome to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button today is Wednesday September 7th and guys I can finally tell you guys what is going on with me I am getting a bilateral breast reduction I'm supposed to be getting my breast reduction Friday meaning I have two days into my surgery and I'm a little late doing this vlog I'm really supposed to start this vlog every day weekend but I did not so today I'm taking you guys with me to prepare for my surgery so I am actually about to run to Target right now I may run to some other stores but I know for sure on my list it is Target and I'm going to get some button down pajama shirts and I'm also going to get some compression bras that possibly zip in the front or have the velcro in the front I don't know whichever option is available if they don't have it I'm probably going to go to another store but I don't know yet I'm hoping they have it so I don't have to ride around store to store today because it is a work night and I'm also trying to get a workout in today and I'm gonna take you guys with me if I end up at the gym I need to go to the gym like I've been doing so good going to the gym shout out to my friend for keeping me she be she know my friend know now, I've been doing so good with the gym I've been consistent I try to go at least three days out the week and I want to gradually up that because I know three days is Eh, it's not enough it's enough right now I've been trying to prep myself for this surgery and just make sure my apartment is in tip-top shape because I will not be home for about two to three weeks I just want to make sure I don't have to worry about coming back in to bugs due to like trash being left in the bathroom or dishes being left in the sink I just want to make sure all of that is done with I also have a to-do list that I want to do today because tomorrow night I'm actually spending the night at my parents house and we're going to ride to surgery together Friday morning I am going to make sure I wash all of my clothes because your girl do not want to come back having to put up clothes and do all this extra shit I'm going to clean my bathroom, sweep mop. I have to give my dog a bath um, because it's been about two to three weeks and it's time for her to get a bath. I'm going to make sure I pack up my work equipment because I am going to be working from my parents' house for the next few weeks. Also, I bought some fall decor that I really want to put outside. I think the first day of fall is on September 26th. I don't know. No, but I got the fall decor and I want to put them out in September so why not I'm gonna show you guys the fall decor that I got it is just too cute and my niece she loves this thing so she be picking it up this and the pumpkin it's just so cute but I got this from Walmart and also from Walmart I got a wreath and it is too cute it got the little pumpkins in it I'm gonna be putting those out probably either when I get back or before I leave and I actually have groceries being delivered to my house so I can't be out too too late I'm actually about to wash my bed linen right now so after I do that I'm gonna head to Target I'm on a time crank I'm about to put the camera down and do what I need to do so I'll see you guys in a minute in the car I look like a bum right now I just wanted to kind of give you guys the backstory on, on the decision I made to get a breast reduction can't wear what I want to wear basically the girls with big boobs like y'all know it's hard to find shirts that can fit how you want it to fit you can't wear what you want to wear the shirt that I have on now it's a men's medium it fits like a regular woman's shirt because of my breasts and then it's like the sweating i started going to the gym more i do have those days where sometimes my lower back tends to hurt here and there i would have back problems but it, it was never a consistent thing it was mainly 
when I had a job where I was on my feet all day. And thank God I do not have to stand on my feet all day. I have a desk job. I'm thankful for that and I'm blessed to have a job like that where I'm not standing up on my feet. I'm tired of having big boobs. I'm ready for small ones. I am a 36 double D. Um, I plan on going down to a C cup excited and I'm nervous at the same time I have had surgery before in the past on my knees of course I was younger I've been trying to pray about it and not stress about it and not overthink about it just kind of put it in God's hands they told me that the recovery time is going to be about two to three weeks they told me that they were going to do a upside down T and then they're cutting around my areola to completely remove it I just made it to Target. Of course, you guys know I'll be getting nervous when I gotta take the camera in. I'm about to take the camera in once again for you guys.
<laughs> Can you say awkward as I went in and I went out. I hate when people stare. Like, why the f you gotta stare? Don't be rude. Every time I have my camera out, people tend to stare. I think I'm about to come on my cycle because my stomach is cramping so bad. No, I'm still sad. It didn't work. They said that was going to be a three hour procedure. I could have drains coming out the sides of my boobs just to help with swelling. I guys the bras I got from Target I ended up getting a total of three bras and the total came up to be $65.40 it has a zipper and then also underneath the zipper it's like this clip which I like a blue one the same style it's just baby blue they all have the padding in it which I'm probably going to have to take out I got this neon color bra it zips in the front also all three of these bras are medium size before I even use these I'm about to throw them in a wash now that I have my bed linen clean I'm about to make up my bed we're slowly knocking things off of the list I put my fall decor out it's not a lot of dishes in my dishwasher we just have those dishes here and then we have a few up here that I will need to put up these are the only dishes in my sink that I have to wash. I'm going to give Izzy a bath. I'm debating on if I want to do that today or tomorrow before I leave. It is the next day. Yesterday I did not finish doing everything I needed to do. I did get all of my clothes folded and I got my bed made up. I need to go put my comforter in a washing machine. These are my sheets. I got my clean linen on my bed. These are the clothes that I need to pack up. And I still have not packed yet. Finish packing and then I'm about to vacuum, sweep, and mop. I'm gonna hit y'all back up after I finish that task.
feel like straight. Good morning. I just woke up. I've been in and out all morning. All yesterday, I've been in and out. Um, I feel okay. And there's Pepper. You wanna say hey, Pepper? You wanna say hey? Hey, hello. I woke up at like six in the morning and then I didn't go back to sleep until around like seven, eight-ish. Thursday at 10 was the last time I ate anything and eating like crackers and stuff. So this is my first time eating since Thursday. This is what I'm eating. My mom, she uh, made some homemade chicken noodle soup and it's really good. As far as like pain, I'm in a little bit of pain. It comes and goes. I definitely feel better when I'm asleep with meds, having pain under my boob and on my areola area. <laughs> and I've been telling everybody. They had my nipples sitting on the side of the table. Literally glued them back on. I have glue and tape. My throat is also a little sore. The doctor said I can take a shower Sunday. But I'm kind of scared too because I do not want a staph infection. I'm probably going to wait until my pre-op appointment. Which is supposed to be a week from yesterday. Which is like September 16th. This is really good. What? I had on some compression socks, but I took them off. I have been getting up to walk around. I wish I can show you guys. Oh, they look so good. I really just appreciate everybody checking on me. It means a lot to me. My family checking up on me. My mom, my dad. They made me feel so loved. This is the shirt that I had on in my last video when I was filming my romanticize my life for a weekend this is the shirt that I had on in the video and as you can see it's not if you know you know like it's not as tight on me and it's definitely time for another pain pill I'm supposed to take the hydrocodone every four hours I took it at 6 30 it is past 10 30 now so I can definitely take another one Ah, I can't wait to take this bra. They still come a bit. They swollen though, right? The sweating gonna go down. Yeah. All right there. Yeah, they used to go underneath. Let me just cramping. I literally just came on my cycle. Tell me why I only got I only got six more of these left, baby. I'm gonna need more. They're gonna have to refill that. I'm taking one every four hours. I'm gonna need more. Cut like like y'all can kind of see it here, starting here, all the way to here, and then same for this side. My supervisor, she was like, "When you get up, you gonna fall over because you gonna be so light." I was so weak. I about fell for real. One thing about it though, that hydrocodone. I can tell when the medicine wears off because my stomach starts to cramp and start to feel the incisions more. It's just so like such a difference. I feel like I'm doing too much. I need to be laying down. Cause when that medicine kick in, baby, gone is what I be gone. I look a hot mess, but it's okay cause my girlfriend like it. Period. <laughs> I'm ready to go to sleep. Oh, I got a hole. <laughs> I need another bunny. The fact that I do have another bunny, but I brought the wrong one. But whatever. I'm going to hit y'all up when my mom gets here. Hi. Hey, that's my nurse. <laughs> nurse <up>. Jackson. <laughs> I'm about to take a bath. I don't know what time it is. I think it's like almost 4 o'clock. I just got finished eating another meal. I had some mac and cheese, cornbread, greens, um, potato salad, ribs. And then I just took my meds like five minutes ago. So I'm running me some water now.
Now we need to pull up. Okay. Excuse the bonnet once again. We in recovery mode right now, so y'all gonna have to excuse the bonnet. Anybody want a dog? Anybody? She free. Come get her. It is recovery day three. It feels like my chest is heavy. I know that is due to swelling. Y'all know how y'all do like push-ups and they put a weight on your back. That's what it feels like, but on the front side. It is currently 8.07 at night. I am watching a movie. I took a shower today and I changed my bras out. So now I have on a black compression bra. These gauze are um, under the fold of my breast because that's where my bra sits and these are where my incisions are. And it feels so uncomfortable when the bra is just resting on top of the incisions. We're watching a movie. To the vlog, yeah, we about to watch a movie. And Izzy's here. And we about to watch us a movie. I don't know what movie we're about to watch. I just know it's gonna be a movie on Netflix. My hair definitely looks a hot mess, and it's most definitely time to take the braids down. Day is the sixth day after surgery. And let me just say, I do feel better. I would say the fourth and the fifth day were the absolute worst. It was awful. I could not sleep. It is so hard because I can't sleep on my stomach for me to get comfortable. And the first few nights it was fine, but as I guess it started healing and I started sleeping on my side more and more, it got a little bit more sensitive. My incisions are starting to have leakage. The first few days after my surgery, I had very little to no leakage. Now, this, the fourth, fifth, and today, I do have a little bit of drainage coming from my breast. It felt so tight and so heavy when I walked. It was just it's a no for me, but honestly, I'm ready to get back home to my apartment. I'm homesick right now, for real, for real, but I know I just have a few more days. Tomorrow's my post-op appointment. Hopefully, everything goes good. Hopefully, they say I can drive because I have not been able to drive. Honestly, you guys, my girlfriend, she came over Sunday. I have not picked up the camera since then. I've been recording on my phone if I have picked it up. So I was just like, dang, I'm lacking. Right now I'm at 24 minutes and that's the, I think the entirety of the video right now. And that's without this footage and my pre-op footage. So I feel like by the time I get that in there, I should be fine. And hopefully I can get this video out to you guys really no later than Saturday. This is what my boobs look like now. You see... I just wanted to come on here and update you guys about, you know, what's been going on and how I've been feeling after the surgery. I will see you guys tomorrow at my post-op appointment. changed back into the clothes that I slept in um look like I got BDBs on my edges I'm taking my hair down today she said that everything looked good as far as like the leakage that I had she said that the leakage is normal finally said I can start taking a shower and just letting water only run over the incisions the tape that's around my areola area and under 
my boob will come off over time and she said that the water will also help it come off because i can't pull it off because they said if i pull it off i can pull skin off i can start back driving but gradually due to the seatbelt having to go across my chest and then just in case someone or i have to slam on brakes it can tighten up on it it cleared me for driving i was gonna go home today i may go home tomorrow though it's done i am 100 satisfied with my results as you can see i went from a d cup to a c cup baby and i feel great my shoulders feel great my back my neck everything feels fine so far i just wanted to come on here and let you guys know end the video off the correct way instead of just ending it and putting something at the end but whatever yeah thank you guys for getting this far in the video i appreciate you guys so much if you're not subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button i will see you guys in the next video say bye